of those tattoos are absolutely amazing. Look at that. You pointed at my hometown. There you go. Yeah, listen, he's a proper fan. Arizona Cardinals are home. It's game day here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. My name is Richie Driss and my challenge is to find a jersey representing each of the 32 NFL teams. Three, two, one. Let's go. Start over here. Excuse me, sorry. Hi team, I'm off to find as many jerseys as possible. We've got Green Bay Packers, why do you support them? Uh, they like cheese. And we've got Jacksonville Jaguars. Mate, we're not going to lose any more, are we? Today's the day. Good luck with that. Right, spotted, I think, a Chicago Bears jersey. Sorry mate, sorry to disturb you. Chicago Bears shirt. Yep. Why? Uh, I love the Bears. Remind me of my team from Sheffield, Sheffield Wednesday. So, Chicago Bears, Sheffield Wednesday. Are they just as good? And Cutler on the back. Yep. Tell us why. Uh, I bought it four years ago okay. uh, and regret it since. Spotted some more. <laughs> Sorry to disturb you, mate. Wandering, Patriots jersey, why did you support them? Uh, my father did. Well, good enough for me. Back in the 80s, uh, you Robert, can, uh, Channel 4. Empty uh, I fell in love with, I think it was week three, Jets Dolphins game. Kenny O'Brien, uh, he was a Jets quarterback at the time. Uh, it was a cracking game, and since then, 1986 been following the Jets. I sort of got into American football. First game in London was Bills Jacks and that sort of, I decided to choose the away team for some reason, but that was sort of where it started and that's where I chose the Bills. Found a Las Vegas jersey. Las Vegas Raiders, why did you support them? I had a really cool cap when I was about five years old, got into the sport a bit later and that's the thing now, I'm a Raiders fan. So we've got a Lions fan here, why did you support the Lions? Uh, someone has to. Valid and an LA Rams jersey here. Because of Aaron Donald. Very I think he's the best defensive player ever. Ever? I think so, yeah. Lawrence Taylor as well. Raiders! <laughs> Who do you think he supports? Hey. First team I watched when I started watching American football and just stuck with it. Look at those kilts. I need to have a word with them. Quick, follow me. Gentlemen, sorry, I'm going to have to stop you there because those kilts are outstanding and you're wearing a 49ers jersey. Tell us why you support them. I uh, had my honeymoon in San Francisco, loved it there, and uh, really liked the team. The Steelers, when I started watching them, were the nastiest team in football, and I liked it, because they were vicious and nasty. Listen, I can't argue with that. Have a great time, and those kilts are fantastic. Have a good one. Excuse me, tallest man in London. Hello. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Fan. Yeah, Bucks fan, yeah. Why? Because uh, going to Tampa on holiday, well, Florida on holiday, so... Fair there enough. we are. That. Who else have we got here? Who else have we got here? Got Bucks fans. Bucks. We're all Bucks fans. Those are all some lovely jerseys. I spotted a Bengals fan. Right, tell us why you support them. Mate, I have absolutely no idea. I've supported them for ages, but I, yeah, no idea why why I made that decision. Are you happy with that decision? Oh, over a couple of years I regretted it, but now now they're getting good again. So yeah, all good. At least you're honest as to why you started supporting them in the first place. You have no idea. No, I'm. Pretty sure it might have been the colours or something, but who knows? <laughs> Top man, thank you. Um, there's a bit of a story. My dad's a Washington fan. That there was a player who used to play for Washington called Charlie Brown, um, and that's my dad's name. So it's just been adopted from that, and then just supported Washington. I used to work in a restaurant called Old Orleans here in the UK, and uh, we used to have jazz music. We had like Mardi Gras every single night, and uh, we used to have like football on sometimes. It was all like highlights and that, yeah. but everything just made sense to be a Saints fan in the end really when you work in that type of environment. Okay, spotted a Chiefs jersey, this is going to be interesting. I have no allegiance to anywhere in America, particularly so I was like, that makes sense, exciting quarterback, he just won the MVP, so I was, and I watched every single game in the 2019 season, and then it was just, well it was bliss, wasn't it, because we went through and won the whole thing. I think I found a Colts fan. You're a Colts fan? Yes. Tell us why. For my sins. <laughs> Go Jags though, for today. Fair, you sure you're wearing the right jersey? No, my girlfriend is. <laughs> oh bless, Fine. fair enough. Thank you very much, <laughs> cheers. Why do you support the Ravens? Um, kind of first team when I first got into playing, just kind of team where I come up. I kind of got caught up in the whole last season of Ray Lewis playing and the whole injury thing and the pageantry of his last season. That's, yeah, that's what got me. Why do you support the Chargers? Oh mate, it's one of the worst decisions of my life. <laughs> <laughs> the pain I've been through in the last decade. A decade of pain? Yeah, that's what I'd say. Okay. You're being laughed at by everyone around you as well. What do we think of that? So, so t what made you support them in the first place? Um, I've been to San Diego. Obviously, they're not in San Diego anymore. So, so the, the reason's almost pointless now. If you could go back in time and change your decision, who would you support now? Oh, no one else. The humiliation, you know, it's character building. Hey, give them a round of applause, though. Love that. You got Manning on the back. Yeah. Icon. Icon. Is that why you support them? Uh, no, I'm actually the worst glory supporter in the world. Sure. I followed them after 2007, 
They've not been good since. Right, okay. So basically, it's all your fault that they haven't been good since. It's correlation, <laughs> not causation, I would say. Spotted an Eagles fan. I'm honing in. Sorry, mate. This guy has got a microphone. He is legit, and he spotted an Eagles fan. How are you, and why do you support the Eagles? Uh, I first gave my watch to the Super Bowl like 15 or so years ago. They're Patriots, Eagles won. Can't support the Patriots, can't support the favourite. Support the underdog, stuck with them ever since. Uh, you see this. You see this. You see this, and you see this. This is absolutely wonderful. Everything's chilled out. Why do you support the Dolphins? Dan Marino. Dan Marino. So 1980s, Channel 4 really took off. Uh, with American football. Dan Marino was the man, unfortunately, he didn't win a Super Bowl, but he's still the main man. And that's why there's a massive contingent of Miami fans in England. We're from the Northeast, you've got to do it in style. This is what's all about. So, this is Geordie style or Miami no, no, style? No, Mackham style. No, Geordie's here. We are Sunland. <laughs> My, sorry, I'm sorry, I was doing so well. Miami Dolphins arise from the ashes just like Sunland. We'll be back. Love this. Right, tell us, why are you a Cardinals fan? Uh, by luck, really, because I was watching um, a programme on TV called Our Food Design Pet. I remember it. Many, many years ago, and the third series was set in Arizona. And I was flicking through the channels after I watched it, and the Cardinals game was on against the 49ers, and then from there it's been an obsession. It's like love at first sight. Yeah, uh, very much so, very much so. And speaking of, those tattoos are absolutely amazing. Look at that. He's pointed at my hometown. There you go. Yeah, listen, he's a proper fan. Arizona Cardinals are home. I'm, I'm chasing you. I have to chase you because you're a Cleveland Bounds fan. I finally found one. Why do you support them? <laughs> yeah, I used to live there, man. I had to. You're a gentleman. Thank yeah. you very much. Woo. Still a long way to go, so I'm going to head inside. Sorry to disturb you, mate. I couldn't help but notice you're wearing an iconic jersey with Russell Wilson on the back. Tell us, why do you support the Seahawks? When my brother got uh, me into it, it's the first game that I watched on TV. And then from then, I just followed them all the way through. Hello, mate. Lovely jersey, that. Why are you a Texans fan? Uh, my girlfriend's from uh, Houston, Texas. Oh, fair play. Hello. Oh, not this one. She's that's not your girlfriend. That's a Philly jersey. That's a Philadelphia top. My friends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Found me a Cowboys fan who looks like he should be on the pitch right now playing. You are huge, mate. Cheers. It all started off when I was younger playing Madden. And it was just the team that I was drawn to. And I've just sort of, as I've got older, just uh, stayed with them, to be honest. Couldn't have the where you're wearing a Broncos jersey. Tell us, why do you support them? Uh, I went to Denver when I was 10. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have got a Panthers jersey. Why do you support them? Yeah, from all or nothing. Fine. Yeah. Fair enough. Thank you very much. I found a Titans fan. Hello. Tell us, why do you support the Titans? Uh, it was the first game I came to watch live. Oh, and how have they been doing since you started supporting them? They're okay. It's a Vikings fan, sir. Why do you support the Vikings? Yeah, well, I, I originally was a, a bit of a, a Panthers fan. Oh. Ba back, back when Cam Newton was doing pretty well, but then Teddy, Teddy Bridgewater won me over, and then he was gone after the Vikings, like, so I just stuck with them. Hey, listen, loyal, love that. I love well, yeah. pie. No, 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 no. Do you love pie? I do love pie. So we go. <laughs> Thank you very much. I can tell, mate. Okay, there we have it. The game has just kicked off. We came across a lot of Dolphins fans and a lot of Jaguars fans, because that's the match. And speaking of which, it sounds like an incredible atmosphere. I'm going to go and join it.